Hello there, it's your boy, uh, it's your boy from 1996, um, uh, what can I go with this one, Ryu Fighter, um, Doctrine Dark, Dan, it's two Ds. Red floor. The um, death. There we go. We'll go with that. Anyways, we're playing Minority Report on the PS2. I do also have this game on the GameCube, but my GameCube is currently not available at the moment. I mean, it's practically the same. God, this game is so much fun. Particularly, I think I did videos of this a long time ago using my 3DS as the camera recording. I mean, recording? <laughs> recording! Oh, we do have a save file on this game. Alright, well, I'm just going to go play through a few particular levels, but I am going to turn on cheats. Like, the game is more fun when you have cheats on, though. That's the one great drawback about this game. The cheats are fun. I only got to turn on particularly three cheats. Oh, excuse me. Okay, style in. Oh, I probably should have said this earlier, but welcome back to another episode of, um... And welcome to another episode of Low Standards. Oh, we actually did finish. Oh, wait, we finished most of the game. Well, I'm gonna go play three particular levels that are, are fun to play with the cheats on, especially since how ridiculous it can be. The game goes absolutely nuts when you add some particular cheats that, like I've had, like for instance, uh, Klutz, like the joint. It causes the ragdoll bodies to fly off farther than needs necessary in the like. Regular standard game when you're playing without cheat codes. I, I mean, they somewhat fly, but mostly to try to to be more realistic in terms of the gravity. But with uh, like the joints, uh, clutch cheat code, you can get magical stuff uh, like this. If I remember how to get weapons again. Oh, there we go. There we go. Yeah, out here. Rah! Oh! He's stop making his falling noise now. Hey there. It's been a while since I played the game, the uh, PS2 version of the game, so I have to suddenly remember my controls again. Hey! No weak punches for you. Get back here, you. You! Uh. Alright, let's see what we're gonna do right now. Oh, I know what I'm gonna do. It's this part where these jerks come up. Oh, I have auto aim. Is it still on? No, it, yeah, it's still off the guy. I'll just shoot the missile gun. Fuck. Damn it! Take that! Don't touch me. Don't touch me with your throat sticks. Ugh. Oh, here we go. Hey, we should open up. There's a guy who has his hands crossed. I missed. There we go. Ah, get off me. 
Oh, I didn't hit him. There we go. Hey there. Alright, let's see. Come on, bring it on. Er. Oh man, they didn't do the screams. I thought they would do the um, screams where you knock him off like that guy. Some are really funny. Let's see here. Hello there. Oh, you brought your friend. He's dead now. You're about to be soon, sir. Oh, here it goes. Uh-oh. Still alive, huh? Oh, wait, never mind, he's dead. Where is he? I want to pick him up. Never mind. Urgh. I missed. Let's see here. Hey there. Hey. Hey. Urgh. Ah. Not good idea. All right. Let's get some goofy, funny, falling screams here. They just go up. And then, here we go. Oh, I missed. Well, let me try again. We'll try another guy. One of these guys. There we go. Alright, you get in there. Hey there. Come on, kick. Urgh. All right, get in there. Hey there, buddy. Urgh. All right, have fun. Oh, let's get in there. All right. Hmm, I know there's some health somewhere. Oh, it's not in this room, probably. Or maybe it is. Huh. I guess because you already got the secret. And oh no, he almost died. Let's go down the normal way. Gotta go kill someone or break something or I'm gonna die already. On the first level I'm playing for this freaking video. <laughs> there we go. Alright, so I know there's a guy here. Got him. <laughs> hey there, friend. Goodbye. Alright, buddy. Urgh. Oh, no, not the throw-up stick. I hate that attack. It's slightly gross now. Back then, it was really gr gross. But times have changed. Even can make more grosser stuff now with better engines. Go back to your own age, which is high-tech. So basically, this age, but slightly loose. Hey there. <laughs> Just surprised. Oh, no, you don't. I, I get to shoot with a gun. Uh-oh. They almost got me there. Ugh. Why are you not dead? Well, where is he going? There he goes. I get the hell out of here.
All right, let's see. What level should I play now? I think I know what level I'm going to play next. Another fun level that seems more fun now when you apply um, the cheats into it. Oh, wow, we didn't have to do all the levels. I only did the ones I did because of the, of the level warp uh, cheat. Uh, that makes sense. That's probably why we have only certain levels because I've beaten them when doing that freaking cheat. By actually beating through the game successfully without using cheats, it's kind of hard, really, per se. But at the same time, it's not as fun unless you add the cheats in, because it it just makes the experience more magical. And what magic I want is magic that makes no sense. Then again, this game makes as little sense as ever, since I don't even know how the film went. I never watched the original film. I only played the licensed game. I never actually watched... Um, uh, I never watched uh, Minority Report, but I would prefer Clancy Brown over Tom Cruise. Ugh! No, do not hurt me, for I am better than you. In fact, here. I can prove it. Oh yeah, another thing I forgot to say is that sometimes this game glitches out, and um, sometimes the cheats just don't apply for some reason. Which obviously they are working. Hold on, I'm only gonna do this one time. Got to go refill my bat. Yeah, you can't access the bat weapon unless you're using the cheat. Unless you just use the slugger cheat code. Hey, no kicking me. A weird glitch I recently found out is that I tried to hurt. Um, I tried to stop one of the um, Molotov throwing grunts by uh, thugs from getting me, and when I punched that, I immediately died. I don't know how that happened. It just happened. Ugh. The reason why I'm fighting the police and not the thugs is because the police... Not, like, right now, considering what's going on, but the police is also siding alongside pre-crime in this game, so I... Plus, you gotta fight some of the police, uh, guards anyways later on in the game. In this level, particularly. Hey! Oh, my way! Oh! Yeah, get rid of that guy with a gun. Pissing me off. Getting real PO'd over here. Ugh! Here comes. Oops. 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 <laughs> Oops. Ugh. You know what? Fine. John Anderton fights everyone. It's a fair game when they're all dead. Ugh. I'm not your enemy, but at the same time, I am your enemy. So you totally deserve it. Super John will stop everyone. I only like your jacket. Uh-oh. Bring it on, friends. <coughs> Alright, uh, what's in here? No. Why is it not fair for me to pick up a chair, but you can? Oh no, they're armed, and they're against me. Luckily, I have I'm armed too. The big advantage is that you have weapons. You may have fists and chairs, but I have a gun. Therefore, I win the argument anyways. Stop blocking. You and your friggin' riot shield. 
All right, let's get rid of you. All right, wait. Oh, look, guys, got a chair. Oh! Oh, no! Oh, no, I don't want to be near that. No, 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 no. If you get in that car, you instantly die. Oh, why did I let that happen? I don't know if I could try kicking it, but honestly, I don't know if I should perform that glitch. All right, everyone's attacking me. Gonna find one who has the Molotov. God, it's super dark. I missed. <laughs> I missed. <laughs> oh, maybe I hit with a bat. That's probably what happened. All right, let's keep going. All right, everyone's just gonna keep following me. Well, cutscene's gonna happen, and you can't do it anymore. Where are they guys still gonna follow me? I can still hear them. <laughs> I wonder if one just gets sent over here because of the uh, wreck the joint uh, cheat code. All right, now where the heck do I go? It's so freaking dark in this level. Uh, where am I supposed to go to now? I think, oh, over there? Well, I missed that jump. Let's try that again. Okay, so I go up here. Aha! I found my way! Despite how ridiculously dark this level had to be. Hey! Sorry, I'm just trying to help you out. Well, I have guns. Luckily, I have more guns. You're alive still? Ugh, there's more of you? No! I refuse to throw up! Ugh! No, wait! Ugh! There we go. That should finish up everything. Now all I gotta do is leave the area and then leave the level. There we go. There's just one little level I want to try doing before we uh, I finish off the video and go on to the next game because I'm gonna do a two for today. I'm gonna do two games. Quite literally, one of my favorite levels to mess around with. <laughs> and that's... And that's, uh... Where is it? If I... Okawa! There it is! In, in this part of the story, you have to ask this guy for help because he knows a bit more about pre-crime, particularly with the, uh... The system pre-crime works itself upon with its basis of, the, of its, uh... Operations. And in this game, you can also, um... You had to deliver the item to an M the, this NPC, Hello, but you can beat him up. <laughs> and back then, one time particularly, me and my cousin were playing this game, we ended up glitching out to the point where an enemy uh, Robo Spider came out of the area. Uh, one of the explosive uh, type uh, types came in and latched onto me. He's like, wait, how are we getting in here before we activate the uh, battle? <laughs> If we get on Okawa, your, your neck. Oh no, Okawa, you're gonna die. I'll save you. I'll save you. Don't you point at me. <laughs> Don't you point at me. <laughs> Hello, what you like? Are you Okawa? No, no Okawa here. <laughs> this game's amazing. Oh my god, Activision, freaking Activision, Trey Arch made white, one of my favorite games. Why is it that certain movie tie-in games like this during the late 2000s always seem to be like magical one-hitter weird weirdos? Hello, what's your life? Are you Okawa? 
no, 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 no call here. Yeah, he's he trying in in in, the, in this particular level. He was just making an accent because he didn't want to be found by pre crime. Because John starts talking about pre crime. Uh, there. Uh. Uh. Uh-uh. You're gonna die. <laughs> You're gonna die. All right, one more, one more. I want to do one more. You know, in the video. <laughs> Come on, guys, party at Old Cowboys. <laughs> Full party time. Get him, Okawa. Show them who's boss. Come on, Okawa. Okawa, show them who's boss. Come on. Okawa, you can't just leave me with all of these guys here. Come on, Okawa. Oof. <laughs> oh my god, all of them exploded on me and killed nearly half of the guards. It's great. Where is he? I don't see him anywhere. Wait, he actually lived? I thought he would die immediately from the gunfire. Oh, there he is! Get him, Okawa! Show him who's boss! They are all after me. Oh, God. I only have one... Yes! You took him down! Good for you. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. Okay, just one more. Just one more. Just... Just one more. 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 Okay, just one more. I can't. I have to end the video. I can't. I can't stop being a Okawa. <laughs> okay, this is, this is the legit last one. Oh man, I love this game so much. Oh wait, just. Oh, I found a secret. There we go. Oh, Okawa, get up. Why, why can't I pick him up? Well, that's stupid. All right, we're done. I'll see you in the next episode. Bye.